Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray in position to bring you live match commentary and my expert analyst as always on these occasions is Stuart Robson. And no question this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's PSV and they face Racing Club de Lens. Well Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game though. Well, here's how the lineup looks for PSV. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. The starting lineup for Racing Club de Lens. Well, they're playing with a 5 2 3, as we can see it here. But I think at times we'll see one of the centre backs stepping forward into midfield just to make sure they don't get outnumbered in that central area. And this confrontation is underway. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Beautiful pass. He could pick out a teammate. The defender doing his job clearing the lines and so it will be a corner now let's see about the delivery well no end product Frankowski. Now oh, they've given him too much space. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Now well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? And play halted, free kick given. This looks promising. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Taken short. Now, will the cross work out for them? Able to deal with the threat. And Anholt. Ibrahim Songare. Keze. Gustil. It looks promising. An unforced error, you've got to say. Seko Fofana. Thomason. David Machado and now Thomason they've regained possession Jordan Teze good use of advantage by the referee 
Auguste Thiel. Long way out this. Well, it turns out to be fairly routine for the keeper in the end. Well, this has to get better because as those stats confirm, the attacking play from both sides just hasn't been good enough. It's all been a little bit too cautious so far. Joey Fairman. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. David Machado. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. And so the battle commences. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Thomason. Well, they know they need to stop him. And teammates to play it to. Oh, he needs to clear it here. Thirty minutes to go then. Fairman. High quality defending. Medina moving the ball forward with purpose Gustil well no stopping him chance to cross Promising possession, this. Are well, they going to forge ahead? A oh, tremendous block. Will this corner bear fruit for them? And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Now, how about the short corner? Well, the counter chance looks very real. Will they profit from this situation? Well, they've got players back quickly here. Ten minutes left for play. Gustil. Can they push ahead on the closing stages? And he saw the situation developing. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Simons. On the ball, Torgan Azar. Van Anholt. 
It's a perfect challenge. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. And with that, the 90 minutes have come to an end, an even contest.